people are understanding something, are bringing peace in their lives. And you can be a part of the magic regardless of where you are. It's um, wonderful to be here in Benin to talk to you about something very simple but very profound. Simple because it is about you, about your possibility. Profound, because this message is about a reality, not fiction. And the reality is about being fulfilled. Feeling the joy of being here, of being alive. So, let me begin with a very simple analogy. There is a little insect, and you're all familiar with this little insect. And this insect does something amazing. It goes, gathers nectar, In the same wilderness, where things may be dangerous, things may be one way, things may be another way, this little insect goes and finds the sweetest nectar. And not only finds it, but collects it. And not only collects it, takes care of it, and it is called a bee, a little bee, a tiny little bee. The bee has done something remarkable. To be able to go and in a jungle, in a forest, which is maybe fraught with danger, problems, it goes and finds the nectar. So, I know you know about bee and you know the nectar that it collects, it's called honey. And you like it. You like it. But you get it maybe in a bottle, so you don't understand what happened. Maybe you get it in a jar with a picture of the bee, but you don't understand what happened. This is this bee's life. It's not here in this existence to make cell phones. It's not here to make tall high-rises. It is not here to create wars. It is here for one thing and one thing only. 
And for a very, very long time, this little bee forged, formed a relationship with the flower. The flower said, I will invite you. And when you come, I will offer you this nectar. But come. And of course, you know that when the bee comes to the flower, the flower pollinates, puts his pollen on the bee, the bee goes somewhere else and pollinates other flowers. So it's remarkable. So why am I telling you about bees? You came here to hear about peace. And I'm telling you about bees. Ah. But maybe there is something similar. There is a flower in each one of you. You are the bee. Every day, you see, you see outside, all the bees are buzzing. Buzz, 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 buzz. Somebody is going this way, somebody is going that way, somebody is going to do this, somebody is going to do that, somebody is on the phone, somebody is laughing, somebody is crying, somebody is doing this, somebody wants to go shopping, somebody is waiting for the bus, somebody is waiting for the airplane, somebody is waiting for the taxi. Bzz. But, who's going to the flower? So without going to the flower, you get no nectar. No nectar, no honey, no honey. Just the bee goes buzz, 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 buzz. And then what happens? B dies. <laughs> the bee is going to die. No question about it. It's going to die. Not too long ago, I was watching this documentary, listening to this scientist, this professor, and he said something remarkable. He said that everything everything Moon, sun, stars, planets, galaxy, everything will die. So I'm sitting there. Wow. Everything. He says, he said, this is what he said. He said, and notice I didn't say I think. He said, we know that it is going to die. I, if everything is going to die, what is the point? No, it's not going to die tomorrow. Okay? It's not going to die tomorrow. 
billions and billions and billions and billions of years. But it's going to. Then what's the point? What's the, why do we fight? What is the point? What is the point of all this chaos? What is the point? What is all going to die? <laughs> I mean, nobody will be the hero because there will be nobody to admire the hero. Nobody to clap. Nobody to laugh. Nobody to cry, nobody to go, wow, this was really good. I mean, it's all going to end. It's not about the end. It's not. It's about now. Now, in your hive, is it full of honey or bitterness, emptiness? How long does it take you to get angry? How long does it take you to get angry? Just like that. Arrgh. You have in you anger, no doubt. But you also have in you calmness. You have in you confusion, and you have in you clarity. You have in you love, and you have in you hate. And you know what I think? <laughs> I think exactly the same amount. Not one drop less of hate, and not one drop more of love, exactly the same amount of hate, same amount of love. Question is, what do you choose in your life? And why? You choose hate, easier to hate. You think it's harder to love. And then you want to know the truth about love? Oh, well, let me tell you the truth about love. You don't tell the ones you love that you love them. And the world? Stranger! Stranger! Oh, hello, how are you? you? Somebody you don't know. Hello, how are you? Your own child? Do you shake your child's hand every day and say, how are you? Do you? Do you? Why? You don't love your child? You don't love your child? If you cannot love your child, who do you think will love that child? You love that child. But you don't know how to express it. You don't. 
Stranger? Not a problem. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Oh, how have you been? Go away. The child? Don't bother me. This is what you have learned in your life? This is what you have learned in your life? This is what you have learned in your life? Your cell phone. You have cell phones? It gets lost. <gasps> oh, where is my cell phone? I lost my cell phone. Where is it? Look, 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 look. So you lose the stupid cell phone and you look and look and look and look and look and look. And you don't even know when you get lost. And when you get lost, do you look? No. You are lost. And you're not looking for your self. Who has lost you? Who lost you? You have lost you. You have lost you. But you're not looking for yourself. So, cell phone is more important to you than your existence. Eh? A stupid cell phone is more important than this existence. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. That's what I come to tell you. Something is wrong. And we will make it right. We will make it right. That's why people do not respect each other. Small, little problem and they're ready to kill each other. Is this the trait of a human being? Anyone who sits or uh, cuts the same branch he is sitting on, cuts the same branch he is sitting on, is called a fool. We, every single day, cut the same branch we are sitting on, and then we want to be respected as human beings. How can it be? Understand. Who you are. Ah. You, you know, you know, you, every day, every day. How are you? 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 That's your mantra. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Como talibu, como talibu, como yeh bhi gost, everybody is como talibu, como talibu, como talibu. But what people don't understand? is if you don't know who you are, how can you answer? How are you?
If you say to a chicken, how are you? The chicken should go cluck, 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 cluck. Not meow. This is everybody's mantra. How are you? How are you? Trivial, trivial. Everything is fine. I'm great. No. You are human being. So what is a human being? What is a human being? I would love to tell you what a human being is. A human being is the ultimate union of the finite and the infinite. This is what a human being is. Finite, this, dirt, complete dirt. Changing, 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 changing. And inside, the infinite. You, people become very honored when they say, I am descendant of a king. I am related to a king. Don't they? I'm related to the king. And people go, wow, you are royalty. Let me tell you something. You are related to the universe. Universe is made out of this too. Same dirt you're sitting on. Same dirt, the stadium is made out of. Same dirt, this whole galaxy turns with. Same dirt exists here. This is who you are. Related not to a king, but to the universe. Who is your friend? Friend. Who's your friend? You know, it's always nice to have friend in high places, isn't it? So you want something done, you have friend in high places, you go, oh, friend. Who is your friend? Do you know? The infinite. That power that created the universe, that sustains the universe, that will destroy the universe, is residing inside of you 24-7. Day and night. That's your friend. Do you have friend in high places? <laughs> high places. The Supreme is residing inside of you. Then, do you know this? Do you know this? Do you know this? Or do you believe this? Huh? Do you know this or do you believe this? I gotcha. I got you. I got you. I asked you the ultimate question. Do you know this? Or do you believe this? Tell me.
Do you believe it? Do you know it? Because if you don't know it, and you only believe it, something is wrong. There was a man. I will tell you a little story. There was a man. And he always believed that one day his luck would turn and he would become very rich. So he was walking and he saw a man carrying a big pot on his head of milk. So he reached the man and he said, can I help you? The man said, yes, help me carry this pot. You carry the pot for me. And I will give you one dollar. So this man said, wow, this is great. So he started carrying the pot and he started thinking, I will get one dollar. With one dollar, I will buy eggs. He's quietly carrying the pot in his mind. He's thinking and with one dollar I will buy some eggs and the eggs will hatch and I will have chicken. And the chickens will give more eggs and more eggs will hatch and I will have a huge chicken farm. Then, I will sell the chickens and I will buy goats. And then I will have a huge goat farm. And then, I will be so rich, I will build myself a beautiful house. I will find myself a beautiful girl. I will get married and I will have lots of children. And then one day, I will be sitting in the veranda of my beautiful house with my beautiful wife and my child will come to me and say, Papa, 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 He's not saying anything. He's just getting the pot on his head. He's walking. He's thinking, thinking. Papa, 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 buy me a toy. And I will say, go away. <laughs> and when he did, this he did in real life. Go away. And the big pot <laughs> fell from his head and it crashed on the ground. The man looked at him and said, you broke my milk pot. And this man said, why are you complaining? You only lost the milk pot. I lost my chickens. I lost my goats, I lost my wife, my house, my children, I lost everything. You only lost a pot. That's the difference in believing, because you go believing, I believe this, I believe this, I believe this, I believe this. What do you know? And this is what I say. You can believe in anything you want. You can believe in anything you want. I, I am not here to tell you what you should believe in or what you should not believe in. It is not my concern. 
I'm only here to tell you that so far you are alive, the divine is within you, and you should know the divine. That's all. Because if you do, if you do, you will be given a gift. And do you know what the gift is called? The gift, my friends, is called peace. That, that's how you get peace. Not by shaking hands. Oh, yes, uh, you don't kill me and I won't kill you. That's not how you get peace. Peace comes from here, from the heart. When the heart is full, when the little bee, the little bee has gathered the nectar. Then this heart is full of that sweet honey. That is the day you will begin to enjoy your existence because that is the day you will see yourself with clarity, not doubt. Right now, you are very good at doubting everything. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I told you the story of the man who just daydreamt. You thought it was funny. How many of you daydream? Someday I will be successful. Someday I will be rich. I'm not a magician. I'm not a magician, but I can make you very rich. I can make you very rich. How? How? How can I make you rich? By showing you, you. That's what knowing is. That's what knowing is. How many times have you looked at yourself and said, I am so ordinary? I can show you someone extraordinary. Who? You. If the divine chooses to be in you, how can you be ordinary? How? How? And how do you know the divine is in you? You are alive and there is your proof the divine is in you. It's not always going to be this way. It is not always going to be this way. But so far it is. Be filled 
but that most magnificent gratitude. Right now you have complaints. Oh, this is wrong. That's wrong. I wanted to do this, but I couldn't do this because this wouldn't happen, because that didn't happen. Ah, ah. If you see with clarity, if you see with that beauty, you will see that all your dreams have been fulfilled. And you can rejoice, you can delight, and let this heart be filled with gratitude. We're caught up in our ideas. We're caught up in our traditions. We are caught up in our beliefs. It is time to awaken, to rise with the eyes of clarity, see, feel, this existence. I have another story for you. You like stories? You have a lot of stories. I come from a country that also has a lot of stories. So we get along together well. You like stories, I like stories. And this story is funny. Once, there was an emperor. And he had a courtier in his court who was very smart. So one day, emperor says to this man, he says, go and find me five idiots. Go and find me five fools. So the courtier said, okay. They went to town and he started thinking, how, how am I going to get five idiots? It's not like you can go to a store to buy idiots. How am I going to find five idiots? So he's thinking, thinking. All of a sudden, he sees a man, he's riding his donkey, and the top of his head, he has a huge load of wood. He's sitting on his donkey, and he's riding. So when this man came close, he said, stop. He said, you're sitting on the donkey. And you're carrying this load on your head. Why? The man said, listen, I love my donkey. I don't want to put this load on my donkey. So I carry the load, and the donkey carries me. So the courtier said, okay, could you meet me tomorrow at 10 o'clock? We have to go see the king. So the courtier said, I found one idiot. Now, where will I find the second idiot? Pretty soon, he sees, he's walking and he sees a man and he's lying on the ground and both his feet are going like this. And his hand, both of his hands are like this. And his feet are going like this. So the courtier went to up to him and said, what are you doing? He said, first, pick me up. Help me get up. So he did, he got him up. He said, what are you doing? He said, listen, my wife is renovating our home. And she told me she needed this much fabric for the curtain. So I started off 
because she needed this much fabric. I fell. I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up because I did not want to lose the measurement. I had to keep my hands like this because this is how much fabric she wanted. So I'm glad you came along and helped me up because I could have been here all day long. Because this is important. This is what she told me. This is what I have to get. So he looked at him and he said, could you meet me tomorrow at 10? So now he's very happy, he's found two idiots. It's almost dark, the street lamps are lit, and the courtier is just walking, walking, trying to find another idiot because tomorrow he has to produce five idiots. He's only found two. Next thing you know, he sees a man on his hands and knees looking for something. By the street lamp, he's looking for something. So the courtier goes to him and says, what are you looking for? He says, this afternoon, me and my friends were on a picnic in the jungle about 10, 15 kilometers from here. I was playing with my ring and I lost my ring. So I'm looking for it here. So Kortia said, if you lost your ring in the jungle, why are you looking for it here? He said, don't be stupid. There is light here. There is no light in the jungle. How can I look in the jungle? There is no light. But here there is light, so I'm looking for it. He says, tomorrow, <laughs> could you meet me at 10 o'clock? So he takes the three idiots to the king. He says, king here. Explains their story. King is very amused. And the king said, but I asked you for five idiots. Where is the fourth idiot? And Bebel looked at him and said, Sir, fourth idiot is me. That I was looking for idiots, fourth idiot is me. And he said, the fifth idiot? He said, Sir, that's you. Asking me to look for idiots. Now, I told you that story. It is a funny story. But what's the point? How many of us pretend we are carrying the load on our shoulders, protecting our family from it, when really they can feel that weight? So many of us do that. Oh, yes, I will protect my family. No. It is about sharing. It is about being. It is about helping each other out. That's what a family is. Good times and bad times. That's what a family is. Then, there are people who are completely locked up in their ideas. This is how it is. This is how it is. And even when they fall, they don't want to give up their concepts because this is how it is. Makes us an idiot. Third idiot, it is somewhere else. It is somewhere else, and we are looking for it somewhere else. Idiot. Fourth idiot, 
Me. Why? I should never have to come tell you that peace is inside of you. You should know this. <laughs> I should not have to come and tell anyone that the divine resides within you. You should know this. It should be as apparent as the sun is in the sky. It should be as apparent that the clouds come in the sky. It should be as apparent as flight is to a bird. It is as apparent as color is to the flower. It is as apparent as water is to the water. When water meets with water, it merges, becomes one. You, my friends, are also drops of water. The exception, the exception that in each one of you, there is an ocean. An ocean in the drop. Kabir says, there is a drop in the ocean. Everyone knows, but that there is an ocean in the drop. Only a few know. I have come here to tell you that in this drop, there is an ocean. Ocean. Find. Feel. This is a... This is not about, you know, so many people, when they talk about the infinite, they become very serious. Not me. Not me. I think it is so funny. So funny. That the infinite resides in you and you have no clue. This is what Kabir says. The fish is thirsty in the water. And upon hearing this, it makes me laugh. What? Like the musk deer. Musk deer smells the musk that is in its own navel and looks for it everywhere. But it will never find it because it doesn't know that it carries it in its own navel. So what do we do? What do we do? Oh, the, God is over there. God is over there. No, if you want to pray to God, you have to pray it this way. No, 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 you are wrong, you are wrong. And then over God's name, people are killing each other in the world. How can this be? Because they believe, but they don't know. Because when you know, this is one thing you understand. There is no difference between you and me. None. None. You are made out of the same material that I am made out of. You cry when you are sad. You laugh when you are happy. Is there anybody different here than that? Does anybody laugh when they are sad and cry when they are happy? It's the same. We're the same. What do you want? What do you want? 
A lot of people go, I want money. I want a good wife. I want a this. I want a that. No, I'll tell you what you want. You just want to be happy. You want to be content. That's what you want. Why? Can you imagine if you had wings? If you had wings, would you fly? If you had wings, would you fly? Would you? Would you? I would. If I had wings, I would fly. I have legs, I walk. And if somebody told me, you shouldn't walk on your legs, what would I say to that person? You're crazy. You're crazy. Can you imagine lecturing a bird? Uh, listen, birdie, you shouldn't fly. It would be stupid. Because the bird can fly. Because the bird can fly, it does. Because it has that capability, it does. Same way, you have the capability of being content. You have the capability of being happy. Nobody should tell you, nobody should tell you that you should not be happy. You should not be content. Because you have that capacity. True contentment only comes from knowing the truth. You have heard, the truth will set you free. Haven't you? From what? From what? What's enslaving you? What is enslaving you is ignorance, is anger, is fear. And the day those chains are cut, only the truth can cut those chains. And when the chains are cut, you will be free. Not because you will wear a t-shirt that says free. But you will feel in your heart you are free. Knowing will set you free. Knowing. That's what I came to say to you. This is what I came to say. This is what I go around saying to the world. Some people listen to me and they go, ah, he's crazy. It's okay. Some people listen to me and say, that's very good. Some people actually come to my events and take notes. And then they go and, and, and tell everybody, you know, that, well, how much wisdom they have. And doesn't matter. Until you know, until you have felt, until you have understood that joy that resides inside of you, everything is theory. I'm here to tell you, don't believe me. How many people have told you that? Huh? Don't believe me. Don't know what I know. I don't want you to become believers. I want you to become knowers. Knowers.
awaken to that possibility, to that reality. And your life is blessed. Your life is blessed. And people don't even understand what blessing is. They go to another man to ask for his blessings. Eh. Hey, man blessing man. Hey. Man blessing man. Because you don't understand what blessing is. You see, that's the problem. The divine has blessed you. Day and night. Day and night. And you don't know. You don't know what this breath is. You want to know what this breath is? I will tell you what this breath is. So far this breath is coming in in you. Death cannot touch you. That power that's going to destroy the universe is being held at bay so far this breath is coming in you. Uh, so are you blessed? What do you think? What do you think? You blessed? Of course you're blessed. The day you were born, this breath came into you. When you came out, at first, when you were in the mother's womb, there were conversations. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. But when you came out, there was only one thing. Everybody wanted to know. Were you breathing or not? And because you took your breath, because you took your breath, you came home. If you wouldn't have taken the breath, they would have wrapped you in white cloth. You would have not come home. That's breath. That's a blessing. And it happens day and night and day and night and day and night, and then what is going to happen at the end? Remember, it started with coming in. And what's going to happen at the end? It will go out and not come back in. And when it is gone out and it's not coming back in, out, out. The same people who go, I love you, will go, mm. You don't consider that a blessing? How much money is spent on makeup? Men, they have to shave, razor blade, shaving foam, have the hair cut, women, lipstick, something for the eye, something for the face. And then women go, oh, I look so pretty. Don't I look pretty? Men go, look at you, you look so handsome. And when the breath is gone, they will put the makeup. But nobody will call you pretty. Because pretty is not in the lipstick. Not in the makeup, it's in the coming and going of this breath. 
You like to go to weddings to see all your relatives. Oh, my nephew, my uncle, my brother, my this, my that. All oh, come here, hug this, that, that. Have a great time. All that, uncle, aunt, nephew, cousin, brother, sister, son, father, mother, all because this breath is coming in and out after this breath is finished. They will bury you. They will bury you. They will bury you. They'll put earth on you. And then they will make sure you don't come back. <laughs> you come back, say, I thought you loved me, I'm back. Oh no, call a preacher, call a you know, priest, we have exorcism. To... Nobody's gonna want. So far this breath is going in and out, all this is true. So you don't consider it a breath, blessing? It is. And where is it coming and going? In you, in this vessel of yours. And you don't think that blessing is happening? Of course it is happening. Know that blessing. Know that divine that is inside of you. Know. Be in that clarity. Be in this life. Walk this road of life with eyes wide Open and see the wonders that they are to behold. Because you are so fortunate. So, peace that you're looking for is inside of you. The divine you're looking for is inside of you. The truth you're looking for is inside of you. The blessing you're looking for is inside of you. What else do you need? Just have to know. If you want to know, I can help. That's what I help with, to know what is within you. My words of peace are not empty. My words of peace are not empty. I'm not here to just give you a lecture. If you want, I can make a big difference. I'm not doing it for the money. You don't have to keep, keep your money. If your money cannot make you happy, it's not going to make me happy. So I'm not here for the money. I'm not here for the fame. I'm here to give you this message. This, amazingly enough, is the last event of this year. I have already done, throughout the world, more than 80 events, different places around the world. So it's been very, very, very busy time. I still have one other engagement, but it is not an event like this. And then after that, I will look forward to the coming of new year. And so I will wish you a happy new year now. And I could make a lot of wishes, but all your wishes have come true. The prosperity that you're looking for is inside of you. The joy that you are looking for is inside of you. And let this year and let every day of your life be filled with the blessing of the divine. Not somebody else's blessing of the divine. If the divine wants to bless you, get everybody else out of the way. And the divine has blessed you. 
So thank you very much. Thank you for coming and good night. Thank you.